Good morning and welcome back everyone to Dapperdale Farm in Stardew Valley with a new episode of Living Off the Land. Here's an idea. Start a wild tree orchard, put taper, tappers on those trees and harvest the valuable syrup. Or don't. See if I care. Uh, okay, that's a little bit passive aggressive. Uh, the spirits feel neutral today. Very well. And the weather, it's going to be clear and sunny all day. Now I'm just going to double check on the fish line because someone said I needed two fish. I do not. I only need one fish, and it is caught in the fall. I do, however, need a truffle. That'll come from one of the pigs that we've got at the moment. Well, the pig that we've got. We've got need a duck feather. That's a random drop from the ducks. And we need a rabbit's foot. A random drop from rabbits that we do not yet have. That is bad times. Pomegranate we need. So, really, honestly, I would say it's the duck feather and the rabbit's foot that are, the, that are going to be the issues for us. Because as far as I understand, the... Pigs will just do, um, drop truffles. It, it's, it's a fairly common drop for them, so that's not something we're going to have to worry about per se. Now, we've got a few odds and sods. Let's uh, drop off the snail and then head outside to see what's going on. We've got a, ooh, a quest to give to Penny. Hi, Sam. Hi, Abak. Guess what? My band is playing a show tonight in Zuzu City. Meet me at the bus stop around 4 this afternoon to leave for the show. You better be there. Okay, well there goes my plans to just work on the farm today. Hi, how are you doing? I hope you enjoy the gift I've sent you. Well, goodbye. Ooh, some more wool. Thank you very much, Alan. Right. Well, we've also got to drop off a gift for Penny, so we're going to have to leave uh, reasonably early today then. That's a bit of a shame. I had actually wanted to do a bajillion other things. Right, well, let's get some of the more important things out of the way. Uh, Snapkin, please don't chase me. There we go. Haha. -ha. Caught you. Right, let's go say... Uh, actually, I'm going to go and put another chest into the barn, I think. And we're going to bring these along with us when we do that. Let's also set all of this up. I don't have a loom yet, so that's just going to have to wait there. There we go. And we'll also reload all of the traps. There we go. And there we are. We actually got three things today. That was actually quite nice. Three things that we can actually eat, that is. Now then, let's have a look over here. We have got red cabbage juice. It is worth more than 500 gold. And radish juice is not. It is not worth more than 500 gold. Uh, alas. Alright, well, let's uh, drop these off then. There we are. Get some more pale ale on the go. Oh, but actually, I should be going through the melons. Damn it! Why did I not do that? Ah, uh, poop. Oh, well. I need a new chest. Ooh, I can grab one of these. Really? That was rather awesome. Let's get another line of them going down. What are we going to put in here, though? We are going to place... Um, we'll place a pepper in there. Pickled pepper. A pack of pickled peppers, perhaps. Right, let's head up. We're going to drop off this chest in the barn, along with the shears. And also... Oh, bloody hell. All of my lights. I'm not going to drop off all of my lights. That is a lie. Right, here we go. Hello, girls. I have come to milk you and also to pet you. Hello. Good morning, Bill. <clears throat> Excuse me, I do apologize. My throat is a little bit croaky today. Might be coming down with something. Oh, hello, Abigail. How are you doing? It'll be a little while before I can shear Abigail, I should imagine. I imagine the sprite will change. Be one of the only animals in here that obviously telegraphs whether I can shear them or not. Or rather, whether I can uh, interact with them properly or not. Right, we'll place the uh, chest down right here, I think. Right, we don't need these. Okay, thank you very much, girls. Come on out. I need to repair the fences, though. Got one fence there. I'll just take another. Thank you very much. One down here. And one up here. I'm actually quite eager to go and see what Sam the Band is like. Imagine it's going to be a wonderful experience. Alright, it's been ages since I was able to let any of you out. I'm actually looking forward to you getting to go out today. Come on then. There we go. And you as well. Now, 
I am a little bit concerned about the fact that we have not yet had a duck's feather, despite the fairly long period of time that I've had ducks. If it's similar for the rabbits, that is going to be a big issue for me. A very big issue. We may need to get that rabbit's foot from the traveling merchant, maybe, if we even can. There's no guarantee that we'll be able to do it that way. And that... Well, it's quite distressing, honestly. <laughs> I've worked hard. I don't want to fail to get the uh, community center built now. After coming so close. That would be tragic. Let's get some nice big old mayonnaise there as well. And now we can drop off all of the eggs. Alright then. Um, well, let's go and do as much watering as we can do. Ahead of having to leave for the band. There we go. I'll just do these. Ah, oh, go down to the. Uh, nope. Bad. Sorry, sorry, skeleton. Uh, skeleton? I mean, pumpkin. Ah, I don't even mean pumpkin! I mean, scarecrow! Oh my lord! <laughs> my brain! It hasn't woken up yet today. Ah. <sighs> It's amazing that I'm able to commentate at all and play games without my brain turned on, but uh, that's just how awesome I am, basically. Most people would just still be drooling on their pillow, but my body's completely autonomous. My brain's just having a nap, dreaming about things, probably. My feet are in charge right now. Bloody feet. There we go. Ah! Damn it. You can usually, or rather, when I was watering regularly, there was a point in between two lines of, um, two rows, sorry, of crops, where you could just stand and row both, and water both of them without any, any issue, but I seem to have lost the neck for that, unfortunately. Alright, Akasha, I need to head back up top. We need to water the greenhouse, uh... Actually, watering the greenhouse is probably going to have to be something I do tomorrow, because I don't have enough time anymore, I don't think. Let me head into town. I've got to give this to Penny. Also, grab some forage on the way. You never know. And you as well. Why well, not, Pam? There's more pale ale on the way. And into town. Alright. Now, where's my forage radar going to be telling me I need to go? Hey, Melos. So it gets pretty lively at night. I'm sure it does. Would you like this? That's very nice of you, thanks. You're welcome. Um, right. Where would Penny be today? Probably in the library. Oh, hey, Leia. How are you doing? Have a good eye for wild fruit. Someday I'll make you a nice fruit salad. Can't wait. That's really nice. Good. Thank you. You're welcome. Elliot, no. Sometimes Elliot will pop up down there. Leah's probably heading to the beach at the moment, I would imagine. Oh. Right. Now, a couple of people have been asking me to read the books. I've, I've read them all. I've read them in previous episodes. Well, that's a little bit of a disturbance. Hey, you look like you're getting into some good shape this summer. Well, that farm work is paying off, huh? Um, yeah, actually, probably is, to be fair. Here you go. This is cool, thanks. You're welcome, mate. Let's go and find Penny. Hey, Haley. You stay in the sun a lot, it will make your hair lighter, but you don't want to get sunburnt either. This is true. Very true, in fact. She may be in her trailer. It's my last day to be able to deliver this to her. The last place I can possibly look is down by the um, the picnic area where she was last time with the children. I think sometimes she'll head down here. I don't know. This is literally the last place I can think to look. Oh, wait, no. The community center. That's actually more l the, the most likely location for it to be. Either way, at 4 p.m., I'm heading to the concert. I would love to be able to give Penny this jade she asked for, but... Penny, are you up here? You chilling out? Over there? Oh, thank goodness! Hey there! I wish I could keep a garden, but our yard is such a mess. 
Hey, you brought me the item I asked for. Thanks so much. Let's see. Here's what I owe you. You honestly don't need to give me any money, but... I mean, your thanks was, was payment enough, to be quite honest. Right. We need to go... And visit Sam down by the bus stop. But first, you know, kill a little bit of time. Hey there. How's the farming business going? It's the martyr season, isn't it? Um, yes, actually. I can imagine it being pretty peaceful working outdoors with all the plants all day. Uh, you know what? Let's give you some sashimi. Oh, no, okay, never mind. You get nothing today, Demetrius. Nothing. Okay. Well, I believe I can go and have a quick word with Evelyn before I need to rush off. Well, actually, uh, yes. Evelyn... Seems like we always have more visitors when I start baking cookies. <laughs> well, I suppose so. Uh, Emily. I consider the bees and the butterflies to be my special friends. Oh, that's quite charming. Right, we're heading off. It is 4pm. Please get there before it takes over to 4.10. I arrive! Oh, wow, the whole town is here. This is awesome. Shane, Maru, Harvey, Emily, Sebastian, Abigail, Sam, Penny. Hi, I'm back. Thanks for coming. You're welcome, mate. Jody, Vincent, oh, well, I suppose they would be here. Where's Kent? Well, our gear's loaded already. Looks like everything's set. Elliot, Leah. Right, everyone, let's get into the bus. Very well. I wonder how that would work if the bus was still broken. <gasps> Sounds like I'm really nervous. Don't worry, Sam. You'll do fine. Okay, here we are. Wish me luck. You don't need it, but good luck. Or break a leg, is it not? Okay, then. Hey, Penny. Hi, everyone. We're from Pelican Town. Uh, we're called Xenon Chip 3.0. Okay. This song's about a city and the sea. Nice tune, Sebastian. Abigail's playing the drums as well. Wow. Oh, I like the little hair, the hair bob there. Emily's already getting the dancing going. So is Maru. Leah and Elliot. Oh, Penny and oh, actually me as well, and many other people in here. Harvey as well. No dancing. Linus? Really, Linus? I feel bad for Linus. She's like, yeah, I just came out to see my friends playing the guitar. I don't even know why they invited me, really, because I usually don't socialize, but I don't know, I'm just like, I'm going to be checking out the friends. Or maybe he goes to Zuzu City to check it out. Maybe that's not Linus, maybe that's Linus' brother. That was awesome, guys. Wow, those electronic sounds were far out. <laughs> What's that, Emily? Nice work, guys. I really enjoyed that bass part. I did too, actually, Shane. Thanks, everyone. But you should really be clapping for Avak. Without his help, we'd never have decided what kind of music to make in the first place. Oh, you are far too kind. No, seriously, that is, I don't deserve any praise. You guys did everything. So you're like an honorary member of the band, then? Uh, I, I, I wouldn't say no to that, I suppose. Do I get a badge? Oh, and don't forget to pick up one of our demo cassettes on the way out. Only ten gold. That was quite awesome. That went really well. Thanks again for coming with us. Oh, you're more than welcome, Sam. That was actually quite awesome. Now, it's for 10. Um, there's a bunch of things I could do. Oh, I've got loads of stuff to do around the... Well, where's... Yeah, there you are. How annoying. They just left you out there. That was just rude. Actually, let's have a, have a look. Where is Sam on this list? I think Pierre, was it Marnie George? Shane is actually fairly high up. Robin, Demetrius, Lewis. Sam... Uh, Alex is not far off level 8. Sebastian's actually quite far away. Harvey, probably never going to get there, I'll be honest with you. you know, all he does is talk about sneezing all the time. 
I mean, I appreciate that you take your job seriously, but uh, there's got to be more to you than your job. I'm gonna grab all these precious, precious batteries. And drop them in there now. Grab all the clay as well. We'll move that down. In fact, you know what? We're going to start moving things down to the other chests today. I'm going to take this opportunity to start clearing things out a little bit. Just moving things around. I've already watered all the plants, so I can I can uh, harvest them at my leisure at this point. Just drop a load of this stuff off in here. Um, I'll drop these off as well. There's actually a lot of stuff I don't want to drop in there right now, but okay. I'm going to need to pick all you up. Do I have enough room for the cheese? I do. Fantastic. Now, the question is, do I... Ha oh, yes, I do. I really should get uh, more egg machines, really. Because I just don't have enough room to process all of the eggs that I get in a day. Even just from the chickens. I always seem to be behind. We'll improve on that over time, though. And there we go. Um, no, we're good there. Uh, I really do, actually. I'll make another chest, just to ease moving things around. And once everything's down here, at some point I will off-camera sort out my inventory. The first step is always the hardest. I've, I've been meaning to do this for so terribly long. But I keep putting it off thinking, oh, well, I, there's so many things I need to do in a day that I don't want to do it on camera and, and bore people. But the problem is, is that thinking that way, I will never, ever, ever get it done. So I'm just going to have to make make the, the first step today. Get everything sorted. And this can come with me now. I can join the others down there. And then some of the plant. Uh, no, 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 you said it. Some of the flowers as well. Now, once we're done here, I'm going to go and check on our crops in the greenhouse. We'll do a little bit back and forth of each task. So, start in here. See if I can drop anything off. I don't think I can. Uh, no, 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 no. Nope. Um, you know what? I'm going to swap those. Really? That is such an annoying bug. I remember that happening now. When you pick something up and put it into your inventory, if there's no room, it doesn't swap them around. It simply overwrites the original. And that is just such a cheap trick game to get rid of my precious, precious inventory. Such a cheap trick. I'm, I don't approve. Look at this scallywag. Well, let's go and uh, water the plants. Uh, it's not that I really mind too much losing all that quartz, but still, it was just lost quartz, which is just painful. Mostly because I just don't like wasting things. All of those beets there, that will be fine. Ooh. Oh, they're ready. I didn't realize this. Okay. Well, maybe we can go and take these down and pop them in Mia Lucy's fridge then. Before the day's out. That would actually be quite nice. Plus, I could then pop down some better fertilizer. Yes, I think this day is shaping up quite nicely, actually. Quite nicely, indeed. Let's just grab these. Ow. Oh. There we go. And here as well. Now, I forget what the period of time for... Uh, the star drop plants is, but I think it is one of those plants that takes a long time to properly mature. So we're probably going to be watering these for quite a while. Tomorrow we're going to get a new iridium sprinkler and maybe head down the mines, I'm thinking. It does depend a little bit on how much time I have. Um... Yeah, you know what? We'll water this area and get it planted right away, come to think of it. There's no particular reason not to. Right, we can pop down some quality fertilizer as well, which means we can get some melon seeds. Let's do that. There we go. Quality fertilizer. At this point, I've got so much money, I really don't need to worry about 
buying things like fertilizer or for that matter buying stone or anything else really and drop those off thank you very much that will do nicely I'm wondering if the beet seeds will work though Ooh. hmm I wonder if maybe I've got to put a whole stack of ten in there because that might be something I would need regardless Mayor Lucy's house is going to be closed at this point or it won't be very long before it's closed, so I'm not going to bother. Instead, I think we will go and drop off these seeds. I'll make a note to try the beet seeds, but genuinely, most of the time that you deal with any kind of quest of drop 10 off or something like that, it wants 10 of the same quality. It doesn't seem to really, uh, in, in any kind of... Uh, law sense care about it's just probably the way the game counts stacks uh, okay there we really would like to make more kegs so that's gonna require more iron bars I could just buy loads of iron ore honestly with the money I make in a day that shouldn't actually be that much of a problem right now comes the large-scale harvesting of the crops so let's get out there we're going to sell the blueberries, because I've already got 300. I just frankly don't need to have more than that. You've scared off six crows. Well done. I'm not at all surprised. You do look quite scared. There we are. I fancy that the uh, iridium sprinkler is going to go down into the lower farm. The outdoors area. I know that doesn't make as much sense. It's just that I look at this area more and I want to have it all nice and, and pretty. Whereas the greenhouse is kind of just like locked away. And it's purely uh, a decision being made for aesthetics and no good game reason. I do understand that. Because these obviously have the benefit that occasionally it'll ring. And when it does, they will be automatically watered. The greenhouse doesn't have that, that benefit. So realistically, I should probably put the sprinklers in the greenhouse to try and help with that. But as I said, it's just the looks. I think most people are used to me prioritizing aesthetics over efficiency at this point. We're still doing alright with the farm, despite that though. We're not that far off making our first million gold. Or rather, in total. We're obviously not holding on to a million gold, but we might not be that far off it come winter. If I can get a lot of jars and kegs going, we, we might be able to. I mean, there's not going to be much that I'm going to need to spend my money on in winter. Um, especially if we can get the, the chicken coop and all of that sorted out first. That's ultimately the only only big thing that I'm really waiting on is the chicken coop. Alright, uh, you know what? I'm going to use some of these 204 blueberries and make jam out of them. There we go. Do I need to drop any more off? Or have I... I've got 300. You know what? I'll drop those off, but I'll just sell all of these. All of these get stowed, though. That being said. Uh, we'll pop in. We'll top it up to two, uh, 400. But I won't worry about it more than that. There we are. We've got plenty to make into piles and piles and piles of money. Uh, oh, we got enough to make an iron bar. Do we really? Oh, no. I had three copper bars on me. <sighs> well, that was dumb. That was monumentally dumb. On the plus side, copper is cheaper to buy than iron, but I'm fairly certain we've just lost money there. No matter how you slice it, because if you're buying the copper, I don't think it's actually making that much money. Um, we'll drop off my... Uh, Miner's treat as well. Actually, I'm going to put that in this chest. Is there anything else to drop off then? No, actually, we can just leave. I'll use the remaining time to try and grab as much stuff from the chest up here and ferry it down as I can, but it is getting quite late now. Oh, I've also got to grab those fruits. So, first, bye, bye, bye. Bye, poppy honey. Awesome mayonnaise. Also, goat cheese. Red cabbage juice, radish juice, hot pepper jelly, cranberry jelly, mayonnaise, more cheese. I'm actually going quite well there. Let's go grab the fruits. There we 
Yeah, yeah. And there we go. Thank you. Should we? Um. No, I'll I'll save that. We're gonna put that down in the industrial area and possibly use it for something at some point. All right. Just grab this. I'll move that later. Otherwise, I'm going to get distracted and then pass out. I only have half my energy for the next day. There we are. Oh, mayonnaise is ready. I guess I'll be able to sell that then. Alright, not actually a bad day, all things told. Uh, I'm going to pop down another chest. And we'll sort through all of this later. What would be good is if I had a forest chest, a building chest, um, something like a, a seeds chest, and that would include pine cones and that sort of stuff. Um, but yeah, a forest chest would be fantastic, I think, because, I mean, I'm worrying about not having plants, but my lord, look at all the plants I've got. I've got crazy amounts. Also, I've got, like, a torch down here, I'm fairly certain. There we are. Right, we'll grab the cheese. Okay, it's time for us to leave. Not a bad night, all things sold. Not a bad night at all. Let's head up. Drop all of this off. Then I'll drop off the fish in the fridge as well. Right, good night, Akasha. Oh, wow, this has been a very long episode, actually. 26 minutes long. Okay, let's drop you off. And I'm fairly happy with that. We've even got some cherries in there. I could actually... Uh, no, there's not too much I could do with that. What I'm going to do with the uh, plants, by the way, the trees that I'm not going to be able to plant in my greenhouse, I'm going to plant them around the farm. Uh, around the village, rather. Just to make the, the village a little bit nicer. Have some, some budding trees. Okay, so that happens more than once. Really? The 100 blueberries <laughs> got me 8,800. The gold ones got... 42 of them got me 5,540. That is... Oh, my Lord. Poppy honey, the red cabbage juice. Only two of them got me 1,700. 5,000 for the 11 cranberry jellies. Okay, yeah, we're starting to make some good cash now. <laughs> Ye gads. 34 grand. How did Mayor Lewis afford to take all of this stuff off me? And what kind of markup is he adding to it? He must be rolling in dosh. An explosion was heard in the night. I'm going to have to go and check that out. Right, well, today is Demetrius' birthday. So we're going to have to go and uh, see if we can't get something for Demetrius. But that will be in the next episode. I hope you've all enjoyed this one. We'll be joining you for the next, as always. Any comments are welcome in the comment section below. And a like on the video lets me know you want to watch more Stardew Valley or games similar in the future. But until then, do take care.